In this snip, we are going to be setting registry values with PowerShell. To do this, use the new item property commandlet, specify the path to the key under which you want to define these values, the name of your value, the property type, and the value itself. In this example, I'm creating a screencasts value under the text snips key in my current user hive. I've set the property type to dword or 32-bit integer, and the value itself is 5. However, when I run this, I get an error message because that key, text snips, doesn't yet exist. So first, I need to go ahead and create that key, and then I can define my new registry value. You can also define new registry values without specifying a property type, and PowerShell will match the type you are supplying via the value and match that to a appropriate property type within the registry. So I can provide a string such as registry values, or I can provide an integer. And then if I look at the contents of that key using get item property, I can see that both screencasts from the previous example and published have been created as integers, whereas current snip has been created as a string. If you want to set the default value for a key, for example, I want to set the default value for my TechSnips key to the URL for the TechSnips website, you can do this using new item property. However, the name is default in parentheses. Also, if you want to update a value, note that if you use new item property, you'll get an error message because that value already exists. You can, however, use set item property and note that property type isn't valid on this commandlet. When I run this, that property has been updated, but do be aware that you can overwrite the property type for a property when updating. So PowerShell will accept the string 10 and this will change from an integer value to a string value. Finally, if you need to set registry values for the local machine hive, you do need to run as an administrator. And if you aren't, you'll get an error message telling you that that registry access is not allowed. That's been setting registry values with PowerShell. Thank you for watching.